All the events are now done, but again, because I have done every other squad series up to this point, I might as well do it again whilst I'm here. So that is what I'll do. I will get on with the squad series. And I know precisely which character is which character it is I'm gonna play as. So for the final mission I played as Finn McMissile, but for this, I'm gonna play as Mater. So let's try this again, because what I learned from this, if you do not achieve third or better in a squad series mission, then it basically fails you. So we do have some minimum expectations to meet, and hopefully I can manage to meet those, because well, my previous attempt of recording this was pretty awful. Anyways, time for the cutscene. I'm all for peace and love, man. But desperate times call for desperate measures. What Fillmore is trying to say is that Professor Z's thugs have been spotted trying to sabotage this race. Quick, disable them before they hurt someone. I hope this doesn't upset the tranquility of my karma. For every car you disable, you will be granted more time to participate. Enemy creator activated. <laughs> okay, let's now get on with the event itself. So! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, anyways. Oh, son of a bitch. I just had to hit the gas canisters. Fuck my ass. Okay. I should have swiped into them. I should have swiped into them. That's what I should have done. Sadly, I didn't. Which means... I have to try and go for both of these. And luckily I did. So, let's now try and see what else there is I can do. And... Oh, never mind. I thought for sure I was going to hit the gas canister, but sadly I didn't. Oh well. Anyways. Okay. So, already hit the bronze. And this run seems to be going better than my previous attempt did. All I have to do now is just try and see if I can hit a couple more targets. And see if I can at least achieve a silver. But yeah, I wasn't even going to accept my previous attempt of recording this. Because, well, my previous attempt of recording this, it was pretty awful. So... I am trying this again, except for saying I'm actually trying to see if I can manage to... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, doesn't look as though I'm going to hit the silver, but again, doesn't matter because I hit the bronze. Okay. Well... Not necessarily because you didn't hit the gold, but sure, if you say so. I'll just move on. But anyways... Let's now move on to Casino Run, and hope that we can at least get bronze or higher. Which is what I did previously, but I'm hopeful in saying I can at least get one gold out of all of this before it's all said and done. That's what I'm hoping for. So, Casino Run is up next. Let's see how we do as we are up against the World GP Racers. So here we go. Let's see how we do here. Come on, okay. I'll accept that. Wasn't my best attempt, but I will accept it, if that's what it takes. 
and that did not go the way I was wanting it to, but again. Still trying to see if I can at least get some leverage, and still haven't scored the spy points, sadly, which does upset me in some instances, but not too many instances. I will of course be doing a Redux version. Alright Jeff. I'm not gonna let you... I'm not gonna let you just walk away with that one. I will be in this to achieve getting my revenge if I have to. I will get my revenge on you, Jeff. As you once said to Clint Boyer, where is he? I'm getting his ass. I'm getting his ass. Apparently, Motor is not quite as good at dealing with fender damage. He cannot stay stable, sadly. Yeah. And well, to, any, to anyone who was asking what I meant by uh, Jeff Gordon saying to Clint Boyer, I basically refer to Phoenix 2012 when Clint Boyer just basically dumped him and then Jeff just basically just basically paid him back whilst also taking out an innocent bystander in Joey Logano. Basically what happened was Jeff Gordon got his revenge on Clint Boyer, but he also took out Joey Logano in the process. Which meant, of course, that whilst he did pay back Boyer for him being dumped, he also nearly caused a riot. I'm not making this up. Jeff Gordon very nearly caused a riot in the grandstands as a result of him just literally paying back Clint Boyer the way he did. Oh, I'm actually leading this thing now, so maybe if it's possible I can have a shot at winning. But anyways, I think Jeff is pretty much out of this thing now. And second place seems to be a good battle at the moment, which oddly enough is one thing I did not expect to happen, but somehow it did happen. Anyways, there goes Francesco. Of course, I am hoping to see if I can at least achieve third or better in this race. Thankfully there are no items to manipulate the... Thankfully, however, there are no items to manipulate the overall outcome of this race. And if I do manage to win, I will be surprised. But if I can get a silver, then that will definitely exceed my expectations, the way I see it. My expectations will have been succeeded. Anyways, I am up into the lead once again as a result of me taking the shortcut, and now I go through here. But yeah, I mean... Jeff Gordon basically did pay back Clint Boyer, but he also took out Joey Logano in the process. Those of you who are diehard Jeff Gordon fans probably know that incident very well. Of course, even though I didn't watch NASCAR that much as a kid, I can assure you Jeff Gordon was one of those drivers I supported. I also quite liked Dale Jr. as well. I think both of those guys were pretty good in my uh, days of when I was learning about the personalities in NASCAR. At least that was before the sport had really seen its uh, downturn in the... Uh, and I just threw away this race. Son of a bitch. I thought for sure I could make the front flip work, but apparently that did not turn out to be the case. 
And at the moment, things are not going very well. But at least I can say Francesco's not too far ahead of me, so... Maybe I can achieve some sort of perseverance whilst I'm here. And trying to see if I can put up some mastery and trying to see if I can hit the shortcut once again. Thankfully I do. Also activating super boost, paying back Francesco in the process, making sure he does not pull any shady moves on me and there we go that is victory in casino run I also noticed there's a shortcut there and ha get fucked Francesco anyways won by 3.3 seconds in the end over Shutad Aroki Jeff Corvett was third in the end of that race Nigel Gearsley fourth followed by Lightning McQueen rounding out the top five then we had Chanel in 6th, ahead of Veloso. Rahul Sarul was 8th. Francesco Bernoulli, as a result of me wiping him out, finished in ninth, And Miguel Camino finishes last. So, at least I can say I can end off one part of this segment on a high. Which means I did obtain a gold in spite of me having that late race blip. But again, it doesn't matter too much because as long as I get at least one gold before this is all over, then I've not got anything to lose. Anyways, let's now move on to Ginza Invasion, where I should also mention for this mission, it's actually raining. Anyways, let's try and see how we go. Okay. I'll accept that. And not quite the way I wanted to do it, but again, it still works. As long as I manage to get at least five lemons at the end of this. Okay, I'm up to two. And now up to four. Okay. I think the idea of this is for me trying to wipe out my targets by using the super boost. So I'm going to assume that must be what my uh, aim is and why the turbo tanks just keep charging up so quickly. Ah, god damn it. That's not the way I wanted to do this. Anyways, let's try and see what I can do here. Okay, I've hit the silver and trying to see if I can go any further than this. Anyways, still got five targets to go before I can hit the gold and I'm only up to 11 at the moment so things at the moment not going very well. And it doesn't look as though this is going to be a gold. Oh well. I still got a silver. Which means I can move on at least. Anyways. Next. Since I know that's what I have to do. At least I can say I'm able to move on to Trial in the Timbers. I do have a win up to this point, which means I can at least have some leverage coming out of this segment. But there is still one more thing I'll need to showcase here. And what that is, well, stay tuned to find out. And then I will show it to you. Let's see how we go here. Okay. And not going to miss the sh shortcut. Slow me down a little bit, but at least I can say I am still in this to win it. And super boost now activated as I 
Wipeout, Jeff Corvette, Rahul Sarul and Miguel Camino all in one boost tank which is more or less the sort of thing I can do and now trying to see if I can overtake Max for the lead Max Chanel is now in second position at the moment so maybe if it's possible I will be able to achieve something but anyways let's keep this one going so and I missed the shortcut oh well anyways I'm now trying to keep myself inside the top five there is lightning and couldn't quite get Francesco in the end but I'm still inside the top three and still battling for the win the way I see it Jeff Corvettes is now the leader of this race as I am currently running third Lightning is also inside the top half of the, top half of the field in this race and I am still in contention for the win also making sure I do not miss the first part of the shortcut at least and that did not go the way I was wanting it to but anyways I at least know where the most major shortcut is and oh I went too early fuck me I might not get this if I go any for if I keep doing what I am doing I might not get the win although then again I just have to finish in third or better if I am going to achieve some sort of perseverance but again we'll wait and see and that's a win somehow I managed to pull the rabbit out of the hat and win so finishing order in this race won by virtually six tenths over Max Chanel Francesco Benulli was third followed by Jeff Corvette Sarul was fifth ahead of Todoroki McQueen finishes in seventh ahead of Veloso Miguel Camino was ninth and at the back was Nigel Gearsley more than eight seconds behind me and this was actually a really competitive race just as it was in the segment anyways moving on hold your head up keep your head up moving on and yes by the way I did just quote Eurythmics when I said that yeah I did quote Eurythmics to anyone who knows where I got that line from I think it goes hold your head up keep your head up moving on just hope YouTube's not going to blackmail me with copyrights as a result of using that hopefully they won't because it wasn't the music but anyways let's get this race over with and see how we do okay pretty reasonable start and the jack is officially the only weapon we have sorry to do this Holly but I gotta do what I gotta do to win as Joey Logano was able to find out when he won the NASCAR Cup Series Championship in 2018 haha -ha. nice try skate Jack I think that's the name of the weapon I have managed to take the lead and these are boxes of dynamite which I will need to be mindful of anyways trying to see if I can top my boost tank and it's a two lapper so after this there is one more thing we need to do and I only fell down to third as a result of that and Finn McMissile right up ahead of me just gonna 
get him in the process to retake the lead now. Miles Axelrod now temporarily has the lead. Of course, I'm really trying my hardest to max out my uh, boost tank. And now it is time once again for what I like to call the super boost. Don't think I'll be able to win this unless I can get close enough with the jack, but I do think there's a possibility the way I see it. Just depends on knowing if I can do it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I got Miles. I just totally killed him. And that's a win. I just edged out Sarge in the end of that. That could have been a side-by-side -side finish, literally. Anyways. So, won that race in the end by just over a quarter of a second ahead of Sarge. Miles Axelrod finishes third, followed by Lightning McQueen fourth. Phil Moore completes the top five. Then in 6th position we had Holly Shiftwell, Finn McMissile 7th, followed by Luigi, Guido finishes 9th, and Professor Z was last. Let's now move on to our next mission, which I'm pretty sure will also be the final mission. Return to the rig. Let's -a go! I'm also going to mute myself whilst I'm here, because there is a cutscene coming up. Oh no, look who it is! I'm so frightened! You'll <laughs> never win, Professor! So, McMissile, is it to be a war between us? Welcome to the Hunter Challenge. Eliminate enemies as quickly as you can. Right, let's get a move on with this mission. And we will see how we do. And... Okay, my score seems to be moving up in the world, judging by the number of points I've now accumulated. And that should put me up to 90 points as... Oh, okay. I did not get the uh, lemons I expected to get. Anyways. And that now puts me up to 100 points to start this off. Okay, so 100 points to end off the first wave. I now just need to go for another 700 to get the gold. So, in both races, which I did manage to win, I can at least say I did manage to achieve something whilst I was here. And just taking out the tanker in the process, because I figured that's what I had to do, and... Wow, I got three in a row with two missiles. That is nice. That is... very nice. And... I did not think that was gonna work, but somehow it did. Anyways, let's aim to keep this momentum going. And the momentum continues, which does mean I am moving up in the world. <coughs> I'm also trying my hardest to achieve... Oh, okay. I did not think that was going to happen, but somehow it did. And yet I still scored points as a result. Oh, okay. Well, I almost made it. But anyways. Still have another 380 points left to score before it becomes worthy of a gold. 
and just going to take care of that one and okay nope that did not go the way I wanted it to and anyways bash and ca bash and crash hmm interesting achievement well I guess that makes sense anyways there's another achievement added to the wall of achievements damn it okay oh, let's see how this goes okay okay well, I've now got the silver so let's now go for gold shall we Ha ha! Three in one! Let's fucking go! Now let's try and finish this. Anyways. I continue to keep the momentum going. So! Up to the gold now and... We still have two runs to go. Let's see how the rest of this mission goes. Point is, I already have the gold, and that does mean... That of course means I do not have to deal with anything, but again, I did manage to... That went a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Anyways, um, anyways, let's keep the momentum going, shall we? Even though I did have to rack myself in the process. Well, anyways, let's keep this one going, shall we? Okay, let's keep this one going, shall we? Ow. Fuck you, whoever that was. Someone definitely had someone definitely had an ion cannon on me or something. He was not afraid to die. Well, at least I can say the gold has already been achieved, so that does mean which does at least mean I am continuing to ramp up the points as I go along. And someone just keeps firing at me. Nice try. Okay. Someone just keeps ramming me for some reason. Okay. I am now well into the gold region. So. Let's now finish this. Even though we still have two more things we need to do before this is all said and done. So technically, there is still one more thing we need to do here before we are all done with this game, but I do have an idea of what it is I need to do. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Anyways. Let's try and see if I can score some more whilst I'm here. Okay, where is everyone? Okay, got one of them at least. So that does at least manage to prove I am doing something whilst I'm here. Anyways. Let's now try and see if I can score one more whilst I'm here. And maybe once I have done that... Okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, I missed him. Damn it, I missed him. Doesn't matter, I've got him this time. 
I got Professor Z. Let's fucking go. I hit Professor Z in the process. Which is great. And... That did not go the way I wanted it to. Doesn't matter. I still get another target in the process. Anyways. I'm up to almost 1400 points whilst I'm here. Okay, I'll accept that. Well, that's it, we're done. Yeah, I'll accept that. But anyways... There we go. The squad series is now done and dusted. 1485 points scored, 52 lemons eliminated, one shot of Professor Z, and we have beaten the spy points. So that's another 500 spy point bonus for beating the squad series, and all we can do now is exit. Meaning, the in-game content is now done, but there is still one more thing we need to do before we can say this game is done and dusted. So anyways, there we go. That is all of our missions done and dusted. However, there is one more thing we need to do whilst we are here. And if I just go over to the options, you can see we have some codes to enter. And that will officially be where this game ends. Stay tuned for the finale of Cars 2.